This video is about solving a system of equations using linear combination, which we're going to call the elimination method. So in the elimination method, we need to make sure that our x, y, equal sign, and constant numbers are lined up. So for example, we would have 2x plus 3y equals 10, 5x minus 3y equals 12. Notice that we have the x's lined up together, the y's lined up together, the equal sign, and the numbers. Then we're going to multiply to get the variables with opposite coefficients if needed. We're going to add the equations together straight down, and then we're going to solve for the variable that's not eliminated. Once we get that value, just like we did with substitution, we're going to substitute that in to get the other variable. So in number one, notice that we have x, y, equal sign number lined up. So we need to look and see, do we have a number a variable that has opposite coefficients. So in this case, this is an x minus 1 and an x with a positive 1. So those are opposites, and we know they're opposite because if we add them together, that gets us 0. So we can start using elimination by adding straight down. The x's cancel out, and we're left with negative 4y equals negative 24. So I just added straight down in each column, and now I have just y. So I can divide by negative 4 on both sides. I get y is 6. Once I know that y is 6, I need to go back and substitute to get the other variable. So I know y is 6, so I can pick either equation. So I'll pick the first one, negative x plus 2y equals negative 8. We know that y is 6, so we now have negative x plus 2 times 6 equals negative 8. 2 times 6 is 12, so x, negative x plus 12 equals negative 8. We can subtract 12 from both sides, so negative 8 equals negative 20. And when we divide, we get that x is positive 20. So our ordered pair here would be 20, 6. In number 2, when I look at these, I need to see if I have opposite coefficients. So this time I have negative 6x and positive 6x. Those add to 0, so they cancel out. And I'm left with negative 2y equals 22. So in order to solve for y again, we're going to divide by negative 2. So y equals negative 11. Once we know that y is negative 11, we need to substitute back in. Remember, it doesn't matter which equation you pick. So this time I'm going to pick the second one, which was 6x plus 2y equals 2. I'm going to substitute negative 11 in for y. So 6x plus 2 times negative 11 equals 2. 2 times negative 11 is negative 22, so we get 6x minus 22 equals 2. I can add 22 to both sides, so 6x equals 24. And when we divide by 6, x equals 4. So my ordered pair would be 4, negative 11. Now, number 3, when I go to add, notice that I have opposite coefficients for my x and for my y. So both of them cancel out, and that leaves me with 0 equals negative 10. Now, 0 cannot equal negative 10. That's not a true statement. So because of that, we're going to say that this is one of our special cases, which is the no solution. Now, something, sometimes these problems, nothing cancels out right away like they did in the first three problems. But there's an easy fix, and all we have to do is make a small adjustment by multiplying one row to get the opposite coefficient. So you want to make sure that you have the opposite coefficient of the same variable so that the variables cancel out. So in number 4, we have 6x, sorry, 3x plus 6y equals 12, and 6x plus 4y equals negative 8. So right now, nothing cancels out. So I need to think to myself, can I multiply 3 with something to cancel out with 6, or 6 to cancel out with 4, or 4 to cancel out with 6. So I know that I can easily multiply 3 to get 6. Well, if we already have a positive 6, we need a negative 6, so we're going to multiply everything in that first equation by negative 2. When you multiply, all three things in that equation have to get multiplied. So this becomes negative 6x 
minus 12y equals negative 24. The second equation, we didn't multiply it all, so we're going to rewrite it. So 6x plus 4y equals negative 8. So now when I go to add my equations, my x's cancel out because they have opposite coefficients. So I now have negative 8y equals negative 32. When I divide by negative 8, I get that y is 4. Once I know y is 4, I can go back to one of my original equations. So this time let's use the first one. 3x plus 6 times 4 equals 12 because we're putting 4 in for y. So we get 3x plus 24 equals 12. We're going to subtract 24 from both sides, so 3x equals negative 12. Divide by 3, so x is negative 4. So our ordered pair would be negative 4, 4. Number 5, I have 5x plus 4y equals negative 7, and 10x plus 6y equals negative 18. Well, I know I can easily multiply 5 by something, to cancel out with positive 10. So I'm going to multiply everything in here by negative 2 again. So I get negative 10x minus 8y equals 14. 10x plus 6y equals negative 18. So when I go to add these equations together, my x's have opposite coefficients, so they cancel out, and I'm left with negative 2y equals negative 4. I can divide by negative 2, and I get y is positive 2. Once I know that y is positive 2, I need to substitute back in. So this time I'll take the second equation, put this in for y. 10x plus 6 times 2 equals negative 18. So 10x plus 12 equals negative 18. I can subtract 12 from both sides, so 10x equals negative 30. Divide by 10, and x is negative 3. So we get the ordered pair negative 3, 2. Number 6, we have 6, 2x plus 3y equals 22, and 6x plus 3y equals 66. So I know that I can multiply by 3 to get my y's to cancel out because then I would have negative 9 and positive 9. So I have negative 6x minus 9y equals negative 66, and I rewrite the second equation, 6x plus 9y equals 66. When I add straight down, the x and the y's cancel out, so I'm left with 0. The numbers also cancel out, so I'm left with 0. 0 equals 0 is a true statement, so this is our other special case that we would have infinitely many solutions. So number seven, TJ has been putting away his spare change in a jar for to use at a later time. TJ knows he has collected 107 coins for a total of $15.80. How many quarters and dimes does TJ have? So we have two variables here. We have dimes, which we'll use for D, and quarters, which we'll use Q. So we know there's 107 coins and how much money they have. So we have D plus Q equals 107. Now usually they tell us the value of the two items, but we already know how much dimes and quarters are worth. So remember that dimes are worth 10 cents, so as a decimal that's 0 0.10, and quarters are worth 25 cents, so 0.25. So we'd have 0 0.10D plus 2.5Q equals $15.80. So right now nothing eliminates, so I need to multiply one of my equations. So I'm going to eliminate the Q. So I'm going to multiply by negative 0.25 to everything. So we get negative 0.25D minus 0.25Q equals, and then just use your calculator, 107 times 0.25 gets us 26.75, and rewrite the second equation. So 10, 0.10d plus 0.25q equals 1580. Remember that first one, the 2675 should be negative.
because we multiplied by a negative number. So I'm going to add straight down. My Q's cancel out. I'm left with negative 0.15D equals negative 10.95. So when I divide by negative 0.15, I get D is 73. So it doesn't matter which equation you substitute back into, but in this case, the first one's probably easier. So I'm going to put 73 in for D. So 73 plus Q equals 107. I can subtract 73 from both sides. So Q is 34. So my ordered pair would be 73 comma 34. Remember, it's a word problem, so we need to write a sentence. So TJ has 73 dimes and 34 quarters. So let's look at one more word problem. Water Adventure sells two types of kayaks. They sell ocean kayaks for $800 and whitewater kayaks for $1,050. If the, if the shop sold 15 kayaks last week for a total of 13,500, how many of each kayak did they sell? All right, so I don't want to use O for oceans because it's kind of confusing to know if it's O or zero. So I'm going to use X for ocean and Y for white water. So I'm going to say that O is the ocean kayak and Y is the white water kayak. So I know that they have 15 kayaks. So I'm going to say X plus Y equals 15. And they made a total of $13,500. So I'm going to put the price with each of my kayaks. So 800X plus 1,050Y equals $13,550. So now I need to get one of my variables to eliminate. In order to get them to eliminate, I need to multiply one of them. So I decide I want to eliminate my Xs. So I need to cancel out with positive 800. So I'm going to multiply by negative 800. So when I multiply, I get negative 800x minus 800y equals negative 12,000. And I'm going to rewrite the second equation. So 800x plus 1,050y equals 13,500. So when I add my equation straight down, the x's cancel out, and I'm left with 100. 250y equals 1,500. So when I divide by 250, I get that y is 6. Once we know y is 6, let's substitute back in. So we're going to put 6 in for y. So we get x plus 6 equals 15. I can subtract 6 from both sides. So y is 9. So my ordered pair would be 9, 6. Remember, we need to explain what that means. So they sold 9 ocean kayaks and 6 whitewater kayaks.